Hey Sagittarius, it's Heidi. I've come to deliver some sauce, okay? And I thought today, since we're in Eclipse Energy, um, we would just do something fun. Um, see who's talking about you. What's the buzz about Sag? What's the buzz about you? And who's talking about you? Who are they saying it to? What's it all about? Okay, Sag? Let's do this. So, first of all, I feel like there's someone here who thinks about you a lot. Okay. <laughs> Sinker and breathe here. And I feel like, um, I feel like this person knows you. I feel like they really know you. I just feel like they don't know what to do with you, to be honest. They may not be talking to you right now. They may be taking a break. Um, but they think about you a lot. They sure do. Who doesn't? <laughs> and it's so funny because I feel like you're like in direct opposition with this person, right? Because um, this is you, Sag, between worlds, which is really interesting because the, the, the intuitive hits I was getting off of this because it was right, uh, I wish you could see it. This is how it looks when it's on the table, okay? So, you know... It's really kind of saying that this person in particular really knows that you're a person that does things their own way, right? Because it's it, it's directly looking at by the book. And I feel like this person actually might be a by the book kind of person. Like they think there's a certain way of doing things. And so you're like, this normally would indicate limbo, right? But I feel like they just... I feel like they just think that you do things your own way. You don't do things according to the way they're supposed to be done. So this person does see you pretty clearly, I feel like. You know, I feel like it might be... Um, I wouldn't say a problem for this person. Um, but, I mean, I feel like they can't see the fit. And they definitely probably had um, a falling out with you. Here and now is here with mending. And this is on the bottom, okay? Um, it's with never-ending story and serendipity. So I kind of feel like this person, and there's chaos and conflict. <laughs> okay. And I think it's because you do things and you think differently. And so... You know, they want to mend things with you and, you know, break a pattern here. And uh, I feel like they're waiting for a sign. And I don't, I don't begin to know what that sign is, but um, they may be waiting for some chaos to clear, to clear up. Like, uh, for to, you know, um, make this rise from the ashes, right? I do feel like this person's definitely looking for a sign. Um, and I don't know if that, I, I don't know what that sign would be, honestly, right? Um, but I feel like they do want to fix things, but they're, maybe they're waiting for something from you, Sag. I, they could wait for the rest of their lives. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we're going to see... Um, who this person is, what they're saying, who they're saying it to. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Who is talking about Sagittarius? Who is talking about Sagittarius? What are they feeling on the on the bottom? Let's see. Yeah. What's coming up for them? <laughs> yeah, we don't do that. You know what I mean? We don't we don't chase. It might seem like it, but no. Yeah, so Six of Pentacles is on the... Geez, Six of Pentacles um, with the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Like this person, and this may indeed be someone from your past. Um, they want to give something to you, and they want to... This is kind of... I feel like in this case, this is a peace offering to mend things, to bring harmony in, because this person... It may be a romantic gesture with the Knight of Cups, but this person has feeling for you. Definitely. So let's see who this person is. Who is this person talking about, Sag? Who is this person talking about, Sag? 
Ooh, the Empress. They think a lot about you. Like, they think very highly of you is what that's saying. Who is this person talking about, Sag? They may be talking to a mother figure. Okay. This is definitely someone you've had some challenges with. Some issues, right? Um, with the Three of Wands, they want to come to you. And, and this Empress could also be, you know, the healing of it all. <laughs> Two of Cups. This person loves you. And it could be a friend. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. Um, they can't stop thinking about something with the Four of Cups, like some sort of disappointment. Um, something that happened. You know, of course it can be something that was said, though. I don't see that specifically. So, I mean, this could be someone who is at a distance from you, but it's definitely someone you have some distance with. <clears throat> I don't know if that makes things clear for you. Because <laughs> I'm seeing water signs, I'm seeing Libra, seeing Leo, oh, all kinds of things. All kinds of things, Sag. And, you know, yeah, this person could live at a distance from you. I'm kind of feeling that. And they want to close this, like, with the four of wands, definitely. They want to close the distance. What are they saying? What are they saying? Four of swords. What are they saying? Feels like this person is thinking more than anything. What is this person saying about Sag? What is this person saying about Sag? It could also be someone that's younger than you, Sagittarius. Ooh. What is, oh, ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bet you're wondering, huh? Okay, four of swords. This is someone you're not talking to, definitely. Um, may not be in contact with at all, right? And whatever happened, I can tell you that this part, it weighs heavily on this person. Um, and this has to do with the past. There, There's definitely some water under the bridge with you and this person. And they want to do the right thing. They want to rebuild whatever it is with you, Sag. Um, and, you know, the emperor and the empress, it kind of says that you guys have a path together. You know, the emperor and the empress can be the twin flame union. It can be a divine couple. Ugh, it's like... Wow. And and in between is this road between you. Like this road between you. But this person definitely wants to do the right thing. Because to be honest, there's been a lot of pain between you. And it really hurts this person that you're moving on without them. Um, you know, and probably you get a lot of attention, Sag. Well, what Sagittarius doesn't? You know, you get a lot of attention. You may even be moving on with the King of Wands. So, let's see. Who is this person talking to? Justice. Who is this person talking to? Who is this person talking to? God. This person is talking to God. <laughs> or the universe, or however you... Uh, However you see it, I mean, wow. <laughs> wow, like, um, justice is here, right? That's getting what you deserve. That's, you know, bringing fairness in. It's also putting effort in, but, like, literally, it's with the Wheel of Fortune, which is faded. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. Like, they're making a decision. But I actually feel like they've been talking to, up there, praying, probably, um, God, the universe, whatever you assign. Wow. Because they, they want to do the right thing. Okay? They want change here. They want stability here with the King of Pentacles. This person's probably been working on their money. 
they, you know, on having something to offer you. Because they clearly want to make an offer. The Knight of Cups is here. But, you know, it could be in the past that they didn't have what was necessary. They miss you. Five of Cups. I feel really bad. And this could be that, you know, they were trying to become... Um, they want to stabilize this. They were trying to be... And believe it or not, this person... Um, they may not have given you what you were worth, but they have always had a measure of loyalty to you. Um, and they want to do the right thing here. They definitely want to make things right. Um, they feel bad. And they feel bad specifically about a decision that they made. Yeah, the tower. Oh, boy. So the eclipse, you know. Oh, yeah. Yes, they made a decision. And it wasn't a decision. It was a decision that hurt you. It wasn't a decision in your favor. Um, because, you know, disappointment is here with the four of cups. <sighs> The King of Swords. And you know what? I almost feel like, you know, at first I felt like this was something that you said to them, Sag. But I actually think that this is something they said to you. That they can't stop thinking about. <laughs> okay, so what happens next? Because I see you, Sag. You're doing your thing. You know, you're in Six of Swords energy. Or Six of Wands. Like... You know, you're just keeping it moving. So what happens next? Ooh, the devil. What happens next? King of Swords again. This person is literally tortured by a decision that they made. <laughs> something they said. They can't stop thinking about it. I mean, of course, it could be something you said, Saj. Um... It could be, because here's the Knight of Wands. No, I think it's something they said. You know, I think that they told you that they were moving on. You know? And, you know, it, it may have come in because the Knight of Wands is definitely like, um, you know, other ships. You know what I'm saying? And they could have done this to you. And they... They literally can't stop thinking about it. So what will they do next? What will this person do? Eight of Swords. They don't know. <laughs> Eight of Swords and the Moon. They don't know what they will do. But this person is definitely trapped in their thoughts. Oh. The Hierophant, okay. Oh, wait. The Hierophant with the Magician. <sighs> you know, it's really interesting because even though they're manifesting you, they're still kind of stuck in some traditional ideas, maybe some outdated ideas. Um... So, yeah, they're in Two of Pentacles energy because this person, as much as they want things to work with you, they have a very traditional way of thinking. And that is the problem for, for them, for this, for whatever. So, let's see what the outcome is. We are not conformists, I can tell you that. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. I mean, it's got to get to the point with this person where they're boiling over. Nine of Swords. And they're getting there. Like, because they, like, constantly think about it. They constantly think about talking to you. They constantly think about opening up with love to you. You know, um... Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. This person. The Fool. Um, three of Pentacles with 
the nine of wands this person very much wants to take this risk with you but at the same time they're afraid oh ten of pentacles because they want you know they want to make this work and i feel like they're trying to figure out how to make it work you know like especially with justice being here where's that space in the middle where's the balance here because of the differences, because they are traditional and you're a nonconformist. So, yeah, the world's on the bottom. With the Queen of Wands and Judgment and the Two of Wands. So they're definitely making a plan. They're definitely making a plan to come towards you. And to really end this, whatever is going on between you before, before you... um before you're gone for good because we're having the queen of the queen of wands and judgment and they know that you're going to be defensive because they were selfish or at least that's how you feel Sag. you feel like this person was selfish oh boy that was a lot wasn't it and we do have mercury retrograde in a matter of days the 21st <clears throat> so this person definitely you're going to be hearing from them but they're still kind of in their heads about it oh boy Sag so that's what I have for you good luck with it all